Now, one thing that I learned is that shooting creative product videos is not easy. Creators like Daniel Schiffer and Austin Paul definitely started a product video trend. The stuff that they make is absolutely amazing, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't have those skills. I mean, we tried it a few times with the Jack Daniels whiskey and also the Harley Davidson commercial, and oh yeah, the Tesla commercial. However, this week we had a very special package coming in, a tool that allows you to instantly create amazing product shots. It is not sponsored by the way and you could actually DIY build this tool but more about that later. We're gonna film the red digital cinema camera and have it assemble itself. Magic. Creating a video like this in just a couple of hours and it is super easy to do. So what other stuff can we film with this tool? If you have any ideas during the video guys definitely let us know in the comments and we might post a few shorts. All right let's get this tool set up. Here it is guys the device that is going to allow us to make epic b-roll product shots. So essentially this is a table, you can put stuff on here, right here goes your camera and then you just gonna like rotate that around the object. Well, 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 how the turntables... Now, you can actually DIY such a thing as well, uh, this is something that you can buy in the IKEA. We actually used this in the past with Insta360 cameras. So be clever guys, it's nothing more than a table and a rotating stick. <laughs> Big brain Janik. All right, so using a foam board as the background was not a good idea. We're gonna do it differently now and actually create an entire dome around it. I think that's gonna be a good solution. Voila. Good to good man. I can't make coffee here, so. Now, you might be wondering, who is that new guy there in the back? Well, he's the new guy. So everybody say, hey, Timon, in the comments down below. Hello. We have a Timo, but we also have a Timon. So there's a lot of confusion. It's pretty cozy here. Come into my fort. So here we have it, guys, a dome. And this is gonna make sure that the entire background is gonna be dark. So the first thing I wanna do is just kinda like test that. Problem is that we're using the red as the object. So that means we don't have a camera. So, uh, Timo, I'm gonna need this one. No! <laughs> Give him the cam! <laughs> Give me the cam! So we just shot the video where the red assembles itself and Jenik is currently editing that. He's going to share a bunch of tips as well of what he's doing. In the meantime, I can actually use the red itself now to shoot a bunch of other different stuff. So I just got back from the store and I bought a whole bunch of stuff like uh, coffee beans and hot peppers. And the idea is to throw them in the air. I think it's going to look really cool if the camera is going to rotate around that definitely in slow motion. But I want to start with the smoke machine actually on the whiskey bottle. <laughs> This is a nice shot. Next up are the party bubbles from the Smurfs and the party poopers. Party poppers. The party poppers. Yeah. And finally, we've got the coffee beans. Now, instead of actually making coffee and pouring that into the muck, I've added some ice in here and we're going to fill the muck with smoke. But because the ice is cold, the smoke will actually stay within the muck and slowly come out, giving a very cool effect. Now, isn't this an awesome coffee party, guys? Cheers! And while I'm at it with my Storyblocks mug, guys, let me introduce you to our sponsor for today. To take your product videos to the next level, you need to enhance it with video assets, and Storyblocks has them in 4K and HD resolution. Back when I made my whiskey commercial, I downloaded a bunch of Firestock assets. I would then display them on a laptop and have them in the background, which came out super amazing. But apart from that, you can also find smoke overlays if you don't have a smoke machine, for instance. Or flares, green screen clips, super slow motion, motion clips, and so much more. And the awesome thing about Storyblocks is that you can also find collections. So maybe there's like one specific shot that you really like, but then you can find multiple of the same genre or theme. But over a million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets, there's always something that we can find on the community-driven library. With almost every project, Storyblocks is there to help us out. And the great thing is that we can download an unlimited amount of video assets. That's with the unlimited all-access plan, but there are also other affordable plans. There is one for everybody's needs. So definitely check out Storyblocks Guys, you can find out more information by clicking the first link in the description down below. I can highly recommend it. My edit is done and I got some really good tips to share with you. The shots that we have are in fact just simple rotating movements where our object is always in the middle. This will help us create an effect of the camera being assembled to one piece. Something so simple if you think about it, but it will give some stunning results. Let me show you how. In Adobe Premiere Pro, we are going to use speed ramping. A simple 
simple technique to adjust, you guessed it, the speed of a clip. Slower? or faster. Now don't worry if you don't know how to speed ramp in Premiere Pro, you can just check out the video Premiere Basics made on the topic. It's our second channel where we tackle all the basic stuff you can do in Premiere Pro. Link in the description. Now we can just use the technique to create a smooth transition. We have two clips separated by a simple cut. To make that cut smoother and more cool. Cool. <laughs> we increase the speed in the last part of our first clip. Then we also increase the speed in the beginning of our second clip. Of course, the other parts of our two clips remain at normal speed, which will give you a cool and smooth transition. However, when we speed wrap, we don't have any motion blur, but we can easily bring that back with an adjustment layer on top and some directional blur. Now, something completely else we can do with the rotating movement is a pass by transition. Again, we have two clips where the top clip has an object that will completely cover the frame on one point. We can give this top clip an animated mask to follow along with the object, the rotation and eventually revealing the top clip. For the next part of our edit, which is something pretty cool, we need to do something practical while filming. Now for that effect, you're gonna need a light setup. So we are using a simple softbox on top. This is the most basic, which is always going to work for product videos. But then we also have two extra lights, a backlight and a key light here. And the idea now is to actually shoot this with all three lights turned on, have the camera rotate around your product, but then do that exact same shot again, but having like one light turned off. Again, have your camera rotate around your objects. And that's going to give you two of the exact same shots with two different lighting setups and Jenik is going to show you what you can do with that in Premiere. And of course we will use them to create cool effects with like a ghosting effect which is actually a simple blend mode and offset of two clips nothing more. Something else is this reverse cloning effect. We take a shot of our spinning camera and sync it with the exact same shot of a camera but with another light setup. Of course this effect will also work with a simple duplicate of our first clip. So we take our top clip and reverse it so it's rotating the other side around. Next we simply mask out the camera or to make it ourselves easier, we send it to After Effects to do a quick rotoscope. And voila, we have a cool reverse clone effect. Now, sometimes we just want to keep it simple. Well, then we still have the good old light leak to give us an easy transition between two different framings. And as you know, you can get these on Storyblocks. But we can also use one of our own shots for this. We have a light setup where everything is dark, except for one single red highlight. And with some blending, this is a perfect light leak. We use these all over the edit as transitions but also as cool extras. We got some very short and subtle light leaks that flash on the same exact time as the piano strokes from the music, really emphasizing that music. So as you can see, some simple shots can create a really creative product video. Now I bet you want to see that whiskey commercial that we created a while back. Well, you can check out that video right here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, stay creative.